The main reason why dropouts happen in our school is the poor economic condition of Lahajok. The children who come from families of lower economic status are more likely to drop out. This is due to expenses such as school uniforms, stationery and others. Because the family may not have enough money, the child is more likely to spend the day helping their parents at work to earn money rather than to be at school. The children may come to school for a week or they may come for part of the week, but they do not come regularly. In the school, we have had roughly two to four dropouts. Other problem is that these children, due to their economic background, do not have enough time to do their homework. When a child is given homework from school, but spends the whole day, morning to evening, mm -hmm. helping their parents to earn money, it is likely that they don't have time to finish their homework. The children then fear that the teacher will scold them, and rather than coming to school, they decide to stay at home. The students who drop out do so because of the environment they get involved in. Boys often get involved in gang activities, which causes them to drop out as the crowd they are in takes them to wrong paths in life. These children often come from poor economic background, and even though their parents know the value of education, they cannot afford or do not have the means to send their children to school. If schools were to provide students with stationery and a sponsorship was given for purchasing a school uniform, students would be more likely to attend schools because they wouldn't have the economic worries. If there was a sponsor, the parent would be able to send their child to school. Some of the children do not bring lunch to school and so do not eat during the whole day. If the schools could provide meals for their students, the children would be more likely to come to school and stay the whole day. If we could provide tiffin and stationery, it would help. My name is Hare Krishna Adhikari. I have one son who is at the moment in school. I am currently unemployed, which is a problem here in the village. The parents who do not have a job or enough land to provide for their families struggle to send their children to school. There is no help given to me as an unemployed father, which is why I struggle at funding expenses that are included in my son's school, such as stationery and school meals. If my son was provided with tuition fees and tiffin, it would make it easier for him to concentrate on education and I could provide him with all the help he needs as I wouldn't have to worry about the financial side of his education. Education is important for Nepalese people, especially learning English is extremely important. My son is not able to write his name properly in English even if he's in 10th grade. Because my son attends a government school, when majority of teaching happens in Nepali, it is hard for him to learn English, as that is the only subject taught in a different language. Government level, the teachers are not well educated enough, and so cannot help my son who st struggles with English. Him and other students can't improve their poor English skills, as they, the teachers are not educated enough to help them. If my family was to receive support from somewhere else, it would guarantee that my son could get the best education he deserves. And I could offer him the full support and help so that he could become a good person and a well-educated citizen 